All right, guys. Well, we are at the mail place today. I'm really excited because I am picking up something today that I think is going to change my life. All right, guys, well, we got it. We got Starlink. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a little while, and we'll get into all the reasons and whatnots at the end of the video or towards the end of the video, but for right now, for the people that just care about seeing this thing get online, we're gonna dig right into this box and get started. All right, so we got the stand. Oops. Here is the dish, uh, router. A ton of cords, so it looks like you can actually set this just about anywhere. It looks like on the cardboard pieces, you have some instructions, um, kind of showing you a few different things. Well, again, we'll set that aside and look at that in a minute. AC cord. And regulatory notices, which we'll just set that there. All right, let's go get this thing set up. I ordered the Starlink RV package, which allows you to move the Starlink from location to location. There is an extra $25 charge to this service per month, so it brings your monthly charge up to $135. All right, guys, so I brought the satellite out here into a spot that is as open as I can find way away from trees. Now, it it's pretty easy to set up. All it does is just plug down into the stand. There is a slot so it orients itself properly. Uh, pretty straightforward. I did use the phone app. Uh, it has you point the phone up at the sky and do a circle, and it checks for satellites, make sure that this is a good location even to have a satellite. I did get the all clear, it told me this is a decent location. Didn't say it was a great location, just said decent location. So I just finished up with the configuration on the phone. It's pretty easy, you, you connect to the Starlink router, it shows up on your phone as a Wi-Fi router. You connect up, there's no password. It runs you through creating a network name and password so you can actually change the name of the network from Starlink to whatever you want it to be. And then you put in whatever password you want for your router. Uh, then it runs you through a couple other quick steps and then it starts doing a configuration uh, That took a little bit of time. I want to say I didn't time it But I want to say it almost took about 10 minutes for it to complete and now it says the router's connected So I've had the router running a little bit here and I've been monitoring on the Jackery to see just about how much uh, Power I've been using so I plugged it into my Jackery 300 I think this is really important information for people that plan to use this in their vans like I do because you're going to want to know what kind of hit this is going to be on your battery system and uh, if you're going to have to get more battery or need to up your system a little bit in order to be able to handle the Starlink. As it is right now, I've been seeing it bounce between about 25 and 35. It will blip up a little higher than that every once in a while and even go below that every once in a while. But I would say that as an average, it's been sitting about 30. I think when it goes up a little bit high, I think it's because it's moving the dish a little bit with the satellites. So I think anytime it moves the dish, it does lose a little bit more power. Welcome to part two of my Eastern Oregon Overland journey. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content. 
All right, guys, so I'm trying this thing out, and so far, I'm very impressed. I just hopped on uh, YouTube, checking out some YouTube videos to see how they're playing. Uh, it's playing really well. It's not pixelating. Uh, everything seems to be super snappy when I go online, go to different websites. So, so far, I'm really happy. I'm going to have to try seeing what it's going to be like to upload a video because one of the things I did notice when I did some speed tests that the speed uh, upload speed was pretty slow like sometimes only like a megabyte or two megabytes so that's definitely not going to be fantastic for me as a content creator trying to upload content to the YouTube uh, but it's still better than zero internet uh, in many locations I end up so hopefully that will work out. I actually did several speed tests over a course of a couple, three days, and it always varied. Sometimes I'd get download speeds as high as 80 megabits per second, and sometimes I'd get download speeds as low as 5 or 6 megabits per second. My upload speeds seem to vary from everywhere from as low as 1 megabit per second up to as high as 12 or 13 megabits per second. So again, I think it's just going to vary on the load on the network and your location, but for the most part, I was always happy, and you can see even at 6 megabits per second download, I was still able to stream this video without any pixelation or loss in quality. Now that I've got it all hooked up and checked it out and see that's working, I want to move locations and try it in another place and see how quickly it gets set back up. Now before I actually move the system and package it back up, I need to go back into the Starlink app and click settings and then go up or down, sorry, until you see stow. When you click on that, it will ask you if you're sure you want to stow it, and you say OK, and then it puts the Starlink uh, dish back in its uh, factory default position. So anyways, we've done that. We're going to pack it up, and uh, we're going to move to another location. All right, folks, so as you can see, we're in a completely different location. We're up in the mountains now where we're going to be dealing with some trees. We've got, obviously, some mountains around us. We're kind of down in a big valley is where we're at. So I uh, was just kind of curious to see how this was going to work. now. As of course you can see, we've got a lot of open area around us, which is actually working out quite well for the dish where you can see I got it set up right there. I did use the app again to check this location to see if it'd be a good location. Now the app will just tell you whether or not you have a good place for the router. It doesn't actually do anything or for the dish, but it doesn't actually do anything as far as the setup. It just basically tells you whether or not where you're planning to put it is going to be a decent spot. I tried a few different spots around. But uh, if I got too close to the trees, it did tell me that uh, it saw some obstructions and it may not be optimal. So out here, it was wide open and clear and it, it, you know, and it connected up uh, no problem. In fact, I timed it this time and it only took two minutes from the time I turned the power on to the time the uh, dish was you know, accepting signal and I could get online and uh, start browsing the web. So. That's, uh, I, that's very acceptable in my book as two minutes for a setup like this to get online and start working. So that's, that's awesome. I have the router up here in the skybox and I have it plugged into the Jackery 1000. And the reason why I put it up here is my girlfriend's gonna be joining me here later and I'm hoping that if she parks close enough to me that she will be able to also connect to the Wi-Fi and be able to work using uh, the Starlink. So uh, having it up here, I needed power, so I'm using the Jackery 1000. And then I've got the uh, Jackery, one of the Jackery solar panels hooked into that. I'm hoping that it will provide enough solar charge to basically keep the 1000 charged and running the router the, the entire day. All right, guys, well, Megan has shown up. Uh, she's got her van here and she's parked right next to me. In fact, it's the next day and she is working on cooking us some breakfast, which I'm pretty excited about. But yeah, it's working. The Wi-Fi is working uh, great between the two vans. She's getting full bars of signal inside her van uh, with the router being up in the skybox where it is now. Uh, yesterday, I ran the router all day long with it hooked to the Jackery and with the one single solar panel out and it, the Jackery was still at 100% and it was a day kind of like today where you can see it's uh, very broken clouds and some sun. So not really great Sunday, but it still was able to maintain the Jackery all day long with just the one 100 watt solar panel uh, running only the router up there. but. That works out great because now we don't have to necessarily worry about how much power that's going to use. 
you know, my one concern with the router or with the unit at this one point in time is just always having to find a place that's got a good clear view of the sky. Uh, if we're in a place where it's extremely treed or mountainous, I'm a little bit concerned about how it'll work there. But as it is right now, the internet is super fast and I'm really happy with it. Now, I haven't got a chance to upload a video, which I will upload this video on it today in this location and we don't have internet here so i'll be able to see how that works and if you're interested in seeing how that went check the description i'll put a little note down in the description on how the upload went but this is going to be great for me and megan because it's going to allow us to kind of um explore a little deeper and stay in locations longer and we don't have to worry about the internet or finding internet like we had to before uh, we oftentimes didn't go specific or Megan wouldn't come with me to certain areas because of our concern of finding internet for her and she does have an eight to five job where she does work out of her van but she does have to be present every day online so it was always really important that we have internet so this is definitely going to open up uh, the places that we can go and how long we can stay there and it will help uh, my fuel consumption because now I'll build we'll build the explore areas that are further away and just stay in those areas instead of me returning back after a few days to you know so that I can be with Megan and we can hang out she can just now come with me and we just stay in those areas and now allow me to spend more time actually exploring on the e-bike again saving fuel so all around I think this is going to be a game changer for Megan and I and um, I'm really excited about it but I am going to do a full six month review on this so if you guys have any questions that I haven't talked about here or concerns leave those down in the comments and I'll use the, that information to help form the review I do in six months so anyways guys I hope you found this interesting i'm not affiliated with starlink in any way shape or form i'm just hoping that uh, if you guys uh, are interested in this that you find some information in this video that is useful to you if you guys like this video please do leave a like if you have any comments or questions leave those down below and we'll catch you guys again outside